Why, hello guys, and welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. Today we're taking a look at the Maritac X1 SR35. It's an automatic dive watch, and it's a pretty cool watch. Now, here's the actual watch we're taking a look at today. A little first glimpse there. But here's the actual packaging it comes in. So it's like a uh, kind of nylon type material. Um, it's like a taco shape, it looks like. Nice zipper here. If I go ahead and unzip this, inside you do get a little sticker, a 10% off promo code, and your care and maintenance card. Uh, so very simple there. Also a couple little pockets here if you want to throw some straps in there or stuff like that. Um, I'm not really a big fan of you know keeping watch boxes unless it's like a really expensive watch. So something like this is really useful um, if you just want to take your watch and your you know carry on or something like that. If you're traveling, it's very useful. Now back to the watch in hand. So here it is. This is the Maritac X1 SR35. Now it's obviously a diving watch, but it's more of a dressy diving watch. Uh, a lot of their watches in the past, uh, this watch actually sells on countycom.com. It's like a website that sells a whole bunch of different stuff. It's really cool. Definitely urge you to check them out. I will drop a link in the description below uh, so you can check them out after this video. But let's start off with this watch. So, it's obviously a diving style watch, as you can see. In terms of the actual diameter, we are looking at a nice 40 millimeter diameter here. So it's pretty standard for a diving watch, very nice at 40 millimeters. In terms of the actual thickness of the watch, we are looking at 14.3 millimeters thick. So it has a little bit of chunk there, but it definitely doesn't wear too big on the wrist, especially with this strap supplied which is very thin but durable at the same time. We'll get more into that. So you have a complete brushed 316L stainless steel case, drilled lug holes as you can see. So if you want to swap out straps or change the spring bars, you should have no issue there. We have a nice coin edged bezel here, as you can see all around. And this is a 120 click unidirectional bezel. Now before going any further, I just want to state that before actually sending out these watches, he actually assembles these watches himself. So he takes all the parts, assembles them himself, and then ships it to you. So you should have no quality control problems if you're ordering one of these watches or any of his other watches. So that's always good to see. Uh, okay, let's get on to the bezel. So the bezel action is very tooly, I would say. It's very, it's a quite solid bezel. There's literally no back play. As you can see, there's there's really no back play in there. I can't get any. It's a very solid bezel. 120 clicks. And everybody wants to know, does it line up to the 12 o'clock position? Yes, it does, of course. Perfect there. So that's good to see. Now we have a nice shiny uh, ceramic bezel insert, which is loomed as well. And there's a lot of loom on this dial. We'll get a little more into that. But it's nice to see loom on the dial. It's just these small extra things, especially at this price point of under $300 at $299. Uh, these nice little things are, you know, not seen in watches of this price point usually. So we get a slightly domed sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating. As you can see, those blue sheens coming off of it. Um, in direct sunlight, you will see a lot more of the blue. This is just under a normal light. Now your crown is located at 4 o'clock instead of the typical 3 o'clock. This allows for easier wear. If you're a lefty or a righty, this is not going to get in the way of wearing your watch. The crown is screwed down. As you can see, it's, it's a sterile crown, which is brushed in a spiral finish there. Now, uh, the crown action is very nice. Nice solid crown, like literally you can't move it. And um, now this is the Seiko NH35, automatic movement, hacking, hand windable, 41 hours of power reserve, 24 joules, it beats at 3 hertz. Uh, most of you are probably familiar with this movement. This one's gaining about 4 seconds a day, which is pretty standard or on the better side of things, which is really good. So as you can see, with the crown out already, we have a ghost position here, and then your hacking position to set the time here on these nice kind of block style hands. And it's very easy to function. You get a lot of grip on it. It's a real pleasure to screw in and screw out. Now, the lugs, as you can see, it's quite a different design than most other watches you would see. These lugs kind of protrude out here, but they don't really allow the watch to wear that much bigger. As you can see, they come like straight down here. 
So that's nice to see. If these come, came straight out, it would definitely wear like a 42 or something. But this watch truly wears like a 40 or 41 millimeter watch, uh, which is good to see also. Now getting a little closer in on this dial right here, which is black, as you can see, we have the Triton Maritac logo in orange, which matches the sweeping seconds hand, which has a little arrow tip at the end, which is loomed as well. All of these hands are loomed. We have double markers at 12, 3, 6, and 9. Single markers in between with pips on the outside, as you can see, which are also all loomed. And there's very fine minute markings, as you can see, in between. Very small markings, which looks very neat, as you can see there. And 0 through 60 on the chapter ring right here. Now, also the type of loom, it's actually triple applied. I believe they call it X1 Super Luminova. It's like triple applied. It's pretty good. It glows a nice green. And I'll show you that towards the end of the video when I give you guys the loom shot and throw it on my wrist. Now, let's zoom out a little bit and get into the straps supplied with this watch. It's quite a decent strap, and I was really surprised. As you can see, some nice branding there at Zulu Maritac. This is a one-piece uh, Zulu strap made of nylon. It's, um, you know, this watch is 82 grams in total weight, and you see this is a thin strap, but it's super tough. There's a lot of stitch in here, so, you know, it, it holds the watch up very nicely. It's not like a really light strap and a heavy watch where it droops. It definitely is suitable for this watch. And we have one keeper here to tuck in the remaining excess of your strap, um, which works very well. And the buckle is sturdy as well. As you can see, you know... It's very sturdy, so it stays on the wrist pretty nice. Now, um, I want to throw it on my wrist, show you guys the case back before that. Let me just undo this right here. Case back is screwed down for that 100 meters of water resistance. We have the Triton logo again, a matte finish here, then brushed where the Triton is. Stainless steel, 10 ATMs water resistant. It does say Maritax, Sapphire, and there, these are the spring bars right here. And it's basically uh, pretty simple with the logo here. I think it looks fine there. Let me go ahead and swoop this back through here. I'm going to throw it on my wrist. I want to show you guys what it wears like on my 6.5 inch wrist. So here's the watch featured on my 6.5 inch wrist. As you can see, I love that little Zulu Maritac buckle. It's really cool. I don't know, there's just something about the text. It looks really cool. Anyway, as you can see, it's 40 millimeters across. So this is my 6.5 inch wrist. And as you can see, it fits just perfectly across. And it has some nice presence, I will say. It does have some nice wrist presence. Uh, it is noticeable, especially with that um, ceramic bezel insert, I would say. Now, they usually do sterile watches, I've seen in the past. But this one actually has their logo. And they upgraded it to a ceramic bezel. And they upgraded the loom. And it looks really good. You know, it's a bit more formal. But it's definitely still definitely a pretty tooly watch, in my opinion. I think, at least. But um, if you want to throw a nice leather strap on here, I'm sure it can be dressed up as well. And the bezel action is good all around because we have a very, very circular case here. So you can grab this thing at any angle. I mean, literally any angle you can get grip on this thing and uh, rotate it if you want to time up to 60 minutes there. Now I want to get you guys a nice loom shot, show you what their new loom looks like. It's triple applied. It's pretty nice, especially on the bezel insert. And let's get into that. So here's that loom I was talking about. As you can see, the bezel is pretty bright. The hour and minutes hands are a bit brighter than the markers, I would say. But uh, the loom does last pretty long, and it does not really fade, as you can see, uh, quickly. It's definitely a pretty good loom. Green in color, I think it's fine, especially for $300. So, the Maritac X1 SR35. What do I think? In conclusion, guys, you know, for $299, you're getting a ceramic bezel, NH35 Seiko Automatic Movement, 100 meters of water resistance, a screw down crown, a decent case build and finish. It's a solid, it's a pretty solid, like robust watch. It feels tough. Definitely going to get the job done for everyday use. I think it looks good in proportions, the dial and the bezel. You know, we have very small minute markings and the, the Arabic numerals on the rotating bezel are not so large. So they kind of match very well or very good. And all in all, the strap is very impressive, I would say. I would definitely buy one of these straps separate and throw it on a different watch I have. Uh, that's how good this strap is. I really like their straps, or this one at least, that I've experienced. Um, so yeah, guys, definitely check them out. I will drop a link down in the description below for you guys. This is Watch Addiction. You can also read the full written article on WatchAddictChannel.com. I will leave a link in the description below. Let me know what you think of this watch in the comment section below. 
throw me a like, it helps out a lot. Hit that subscribe button, definitely helps me out a lot. And I hope to see you guys in the future reviewing more watches. Take it easy now. Bye.